Welcome back guys and girls. My name is Macon Campbell and I love making stuff. Today I'll be building a portable guitar stand out of teak. So this is the first prototype I made. Uh, I designed and cut this out on the laser to see how well it worked in use. Simply put together like this and I've been using this for probably about a month or two and it works pretty well. It does pretty much what it's supposed to do. This is prototype 2, which I think is a lot better than the first one. And uh, this will be the design that I'm going with. So let's get started. So before I continue, let me explain to you the disaster I went through yesterday. So the first mistake I made was I put in too many dowels. Um, I'm sure I could have done this glue up with three or four, maybe five dowels max. I've got ten in here, and that in itself presented some problems too. But uh, I think the main problem that I had is uh, I'm not using standard furniture dowels, so they don't have any grooves cut into them, so they don't allow for any glue to squeeze out uh, while you're knocking them in. 
The second problem I had was that the drill bit that I used was exactly the right size for this, so there was no play in it whatsoever. And because it didn't have any grooves in it, uh, once I started knocking them in, uh, the glue compressed at the bottom and it couldn't squeeze out so my dowels weren't going in as deep as they were supposed to. Once I knocked the first one in, I should have stopped, but uh, I decided I'll see if I can muscle my way through it. So I took this uh, hammer and I kept driving them. I did get some squeeze out, but not much. Yet. Then uh, when it came time to put on the second piece, I started beating it into submission with this rubber mallet and I got it to where the gap was roughly 10 millimeters, one centimeter wide. And then I decided I'm going to chuck it in the clamps and see if I can force it the rest of the way. As you can see in this picture right here, these clamps are under more strain than they'll probably ever have to be for the rest of their lives. I put them under so much strain that I managed to break off each and every single one of their handles. So to add insult to injury, uh, my whole neighborhood's power has just gone out. I had to force it so much that I managed to break off every single one of their handles. These are my homemade clamps for which I have a video as well. So without any further ado, let's get these clamps off and get the stand finished. Okay, my power's back on. Seriously, power's out again. Welcome to Africa, I suppose. Don't worry, these are just third world problems.
So this is my finished project and for a prototype I'm fairly happy with how it turned out. Every one I make after this can only get better. If you like this project give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see more. Subscribe. If you have any suggestions you'd like to give me you can drop them in the comment section below. So even though I went through quite a bit of sh I'm sure that I'm going to get quite a lot of life out of this thing and uh, hopefully turn some heads. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.